Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. So today's tutorial we're going to be making this cute fabric loaded envelope. I'm participating in a spring swap that is hosted by Caroline over at Cad Crafts here on YouTube. I'll leave the link for her channel below if you want to go and check that out. And I was partnered up with a lady and we'd been talking what we wanted to do as our swap. And the choices I think were pocket letters and loaded envelopes and I'm not really a pocket letter type of person so we decided to go for a loaded envelope. We decided to go for a shabby chic spring loaded envelope and instead of baking out of paper I wanted to make it out of fabric just to make it a bit different. So this is my loaded envelope. So I got this beautiful fabric from Boys and as you can see it's got rabbits on so I thought that this was quite fitting for this project. So it is decorated with laces and we also have a beautiful um, rosette here and then we have a rosette wand made out of fabric and lace. And it's jam packed full of goodies for my swap partner and I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and give it a go. So uh, if you want to know how we made it then let's get started. So I've got this fabric that I picked up from boys and it is beautiful. To make my fabric a bit more stiffer I'm using freezer um, paper you can pick this up from Hobbycraft or most craft stores or even on eBay. She's going to put some chipboard inside the back pocket. It will be um, inside the fabric and then it will all be sewed up so you won't see this. But first of all what I want to do is I want to iron on my freezer paper. I have all the measurements at the beginning of the video for you so um, you know how much fabric and freezer paper and chipboard and everything else that you know to make this project and we need to iron the shiny side on the back side of the fabric okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my iron iron these two pieces together and then I'll be back so I've done that so as you can see I've ironed it on now so it's made my fabric a bit more stiffer and I've just folded it in half okay and what I want to do now is I want to sew this together but ideally I think I want to to turn it inside out so let me just do that in a minute and sew the two pieces together on the wrong side and then leaving this bit open so then I can put my chipboard in there to make the back pocket more sturdier so I've sewn that together now. So what I did was I sewed all the way around the edges here and I've also sewn down the sides of the freezer paper just to keep it in place. You're not really going to see that anyway because you're going to be folding it. It's just to make sure that stays in place and it doesn't peel back up because it will do. We turn it inside out we just need to just trim the corners so then those corners will give us a nice finish so just cut them off don't cut off the bit that you've sewed so we're gonna turn this the right way round okay and that's what it looks like perfect so whatever pattern you're using just make sure you've got the right side up 
the wrong side down and it will make sense when we fold it okay so when this is sewed and folded together so the measurement for this now is 14 and a half inches wide so this is just so you know by 12 inches high okay so once you've sewed them together and everything like that that's the measurement it will be before we start folding it together so i have my chipboard here and i'm going to place it inside now i did pre-fold this so i knew where my chipboard needed to be so if you wanted to just fold your sides over make sure that these two overlap slightly we are going to glue them together fold them back like you would do a loaded envelope then this bit here we fold that over and that will be your bottom pocket okay so you can see the start of your loaded envelope so because i pre-folded it it has given me a guide to where my chipboard needs to be inside hopefully this is making sense so we're going to open this bit up and your chipboard needs to go in between both freezer papers so place that in with the longest measurement facing up so we need to make sure you leave a slight gap along the top here because we are going to go around the edge of our fabric with our sewing machine again just to give it that nice stitch look on the outside so you need to leave a slight gap all the way around and i can line it up where we have those crease marks where we folded it over if you want to to stop this from moving you can place a bit of hot glue in there to stop that chipboard moving and that's what I'm going to do. So I've just placed a bit of hot glue in there and I'm also going to do it on the back. So then when we sew this and glue it together it's not going to move about. There we go. So that chipboard is now in place. Before we start assembling this together we're going to fold our fabric over so let me see if I can do it to show you we're going to fold these two pieces of fabric over and we're going to sew them together and I'm going to sew all the way across there and also the rest of all the way around my fabric so I'm going to start pinning this together, then sew it all the way around and then I can come back and we can start assembling the loaded envelope. So I've sewed them <coughs> in now and I forgot to mention you need to do your sewing on the back of your loaded envelope so then when you fold it over you'll see the nice stitching. Now you'll see here I did make a mess. But I'm not so worried um, because I'm going to be covering it up with lace and things like that anyway. So no one's going to see that. And um, I'm still new to sewing, so I'm not worried. You know, it's just, you know, you're learning as you go on and it's not always perfect. And you can rectify it by embellishing it and things like that. So we have our chipboard in there and we have this gap here where it's just the loose fabric <clears throat> so you need your hot glue gun on now and you need your rabbits facing the right way and we're just simply going to fold over our sides and it will automatically fold to where that edge of the chipboard is okay and <clears throat> we're going to overlap them ever so slightly and we're going to glue these together so I'm going to get my hot glue gun and before I glue that down I want to just fold over the corners so then I know where to stop with my hot glue. So let's run a line of hot glue on here all the way to the bottom. 
so now that is glued into place and if you feel like it's going to pop back up just add some more glue just to make sure okay then we're going to glue these down and I'm going to go all the way around stick that down as well sorry guys I keep forgetting that I might not be in view there we go and then let's stick that down make sure that this bit is level so there we go so that's our first pocket then we're going to come to the bottom and again this will automatically fold where that chipboard piece is and we're going to fold that over and you can see that these bits here don't line up perfectly but you can just decorate that with lace so i'm not worried so i'm just going to add plenty of hot glue on the sides and fold that over like so okay and I'm just going to go in and add a bit of glue there just to stick that down and there we go so that is the main construction of your loaded envelope made I know it doesn't look very appealing at the minute but like I said, we are going to be decorating it anyway. So here is our first pocket and there is your second pocket. Yeah, and I think that looks really, really cute with that fabric. So all that's left now is to decorate it. So I'm going to get all my laces and things together. So I've got all my pieces together. So I have a rough idea how I want them set out. So for this bit here where I made the bodge up with the sewing, I'm going to add some of this beautiful trim that I got from the range. So I'm going to have one across there, one down here, and then also one down this side there. So I'm going to stick them down first. There we go, I think that looks better already so for along the bottom here I have some of this trim here but I don't want all the tassel bits on the bottom so I'm going to actually just trim them off you're not going to see this bit anyway because it's going to be tucked underneath the pocket so I'll get rid of that and then I want that to go over the top so let's stick that down and there we go so that's that one and to go over the top I am thinking if to add this trim here and as you can see I've not got a lot of it but it doesn't matter because I'm going to use this beautiful embellishment that I got in a swap and I'm thinking of having it along this side here so I'm going to add that and I wanted to put a bit of a darker cream into it just so it all ties in together and trim off the excess like so just glue that down so hopefully it doesn't fray too much there we go and for the bottom here I have some of this beautiful trim that I got from Grace's place and I want to glue that down 
and I want to add some of these pearls on top and then this can go over the top like so and I think that looks really pretty so I'm going to glue that down and then I'll be back and there we go that is that decorated I don't think I'm going to add any more because I don't want to cover up the whole of the fabric so you can't see the rabbits but I think they look so cute so chuffed with that and so as you can see we have a pocket here you have your large pocket at the back so you can fill it with lots of goodies I also have some of these pegs that were sent to me that I might even use because they look especially these two they look very spring like so I might even just peg one of them to my envelope so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill it with goodies and then I will come back and show you it all complete. So there we go guys, that is it all decorated and stuffed with goodies. I'm not going to pull everything out because I want it to be a surprise but I did add that beautiful butterfly clothes peg on there. And I think that looks really cute. And then I added this fabric lace rosette wand. And I didn't have any paper straws. So I used a barbecue skewer. And I just wrapped it in felt. And then added the bow on the bottom. And I think that looks really nice in here. So there we go guys. That is my fabric loaded envelope and i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as always give it a big thumbs up and please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and i will speak to you all very soon bye guys